welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my update for Project Polish. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to do this one this month because um, with doing the men's game with Paula and so many other people joining in, doing that on a weekly basis, I did have to bump a couple of updates for the month and I wasn't sure if this was one of them that I was going to bump, but I do have an empty so I thought, nope, I need to do this update and I am happy, happy, happy to have an empty. Though I gotta say, I actually miss this polish. This is the P2 Volume Gloss in Old Maid. Normally I would wear it with something like this, but um, it's gone and, and I'm sad. I'm very sad. I really enjoyed this one a ton. This was my swatch of that one. And um, yeah, I loved it. This was only um, one coat on here. I usually did put two coats on. It, it gave good coverage on one coat, but um, every now and again, you'd see a slight streak or whatever. So just, you know, I always put a second coat on just to make sure everything was completely happy. But um, I enjoyed this immensely. It wore really well. I am tough on my nails, which is why I paint them so frequently. But um, this one definitely had really good wear time. Um, I usually would get two to three days out of this. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but like I literally use my fingernails as tools. So um, most things would chip or show wear within like 24 hours. So the fact that I could get two to three days with this one, I think that was pretty good. So I'm very happy to have that done, only not very happy to see it gone. I hope that makes sense. Um, so I am now at two polishes done through Project Polish this year. I have finished other stuff in other projects because, you know, the roller rollovers from last year, but um, two specifically in Project Polish. I still have 14 more polishes that I have in right now, which is crazy, which is crazy. So we're gonna go through them. Um, the first three are ones that I really didn't use at all in the past month. This is Revlon Cherries in the Snow. I just, I wasn't feeling the red. Um, Victoria's Secret Purple Rain. And um, this gold striping polish from Avon. So, I, yeah, I didn't really use those. So, you know how that goes. Um, the, the next group is stuff that I've used. And I felt like some of it I actually used more than others. But um, there's not enough room to make a line. So, the first one I actually have on my nails right now. This is the Revlon Streetwear in Chilling. Um, I have this on and then I have a green um, glitter polish over top of it that is not in Project Polish, it's in another project. But um, yeah, I have used this. I am probably just barely below the gold line, but um, it did get used and I'm enjoying it. Um, next one, this is like my Forever Franken. Um, this started as like a base coat, but of course I've done stuff to it. Every time I get to the bottom of a polish like this where I cannot get like the last few drops out, I will put um, like some thinner in it and then um, put it in here. So this keeps going up and up and up and it changes colors every time I finish a polish, which, you know, it's just the way it goes, but I'm enjoying it and um, it's just gonna keep going on forever. That's gonna be my last polish standing most likely. Um, speaking of glitter toppers, let me get my glitter toppers out of the way. This is a really old Wet n Wild in, uh, I think it's Formidable. Yes, it is. And I mean, I have used it. it is just barely below that red line. If I was to put another line, it would actually mesh with that red line. And yeah, I would rather, you know, just wait. Um, Sun Flash, I've actually been using a lot, but it's so thin that it doesn't even look like it went anywhere. It is technically just below that red line, but um, yeah, again, not enough room to make a new line. Same with the um, Kiss Gel Strong in Pistachio. I don't know if you can see my lines right there. I just did like a one coater with this one and it just, it wasn't enough to move it. Um, let's see. Um, this is Icy Fairy from Catrice, no Essence. Um, where's my line? Right there. I have used it again, um, just not enough to make a new line. Same with Muddy Potion from Little Sinful. I um, just did accent nails with this, so it didn't really move a whole lot. So I just did my like ring fingers with that. This one, I cannot believe it didn't move. I, I don't know how it didn't move because I probably used this like four times 
I know, still not enough, but um, I did probably use it four times in the last month, and I, it's still at that purple line, so I'm not sure how. I mean, yeah, my line is goofy and a little thick. It is just at the bottom of the purple line, but hopefully next month I will have a little bit more progress on that one because um, I love it. Oh my God, I love this stuff so much. This is the... the, the it's hard to tell what it is. It's the INM Out the Door in Northern Lights. And I know now that you can get this at Sally Beauty. So I'm not afraid to use it anymore because um, I can actually replace it. This is, um, it's a top coat, but when you shake it, you get like this holographic glitter. So it's like super pretty. And it's, it's not like in your face glitter. It's just very subtle and it just adds a nice pop, but it also makes everything dry just a little bit faster. And I absolutely love it. So I don't know how that line has not gone down. But, you know, what are you going to do? All right, the ones that I actually, I, I don't feel like I used them as much in the past month, but um, the progress lines are there. So, you know, apparently I did use them. Or maybe these were in the previous category where I wasn't able to do a line like the month before. And then with the usage for the past month, I was able to get that. This is... It's the Revlon Double Twist. It's a base and top coat that, of course, I franken because why wouldn't I franken it? I franken everything. Um, when I frankened it, like, it went high. <laughs> it went really high. And I'm actually back down to the bottom line here. That's how much I've used it. Like, it went from, like, up here to down here. And um, it's really thick. <laughs> I frequently have to put a little bit of um, thinner in it just because... It's got a ton of glitter that I added to it, so it gets really thick. I like it, though. I like it a whole lot, and I really like to put this on and then the Northern Lights over top of it because you can actually feel the glitter when you polish your nails with this Franken, and then the Out the Door Northern Lights, it just kind of um, gives it that little extra sparkle, and it seals it in, it helps it dry, and just it's a good combo. Um, for Nina Canary, I actually have a new line on here. It's not drastic. You can see like my lines here. I'm at that bottom purple line now. Um, I love yellow. Yellow is one of my absolute favorite colors in the world. I like yellow things. Yellow is hard to wear. It is hard to wear. And I know it's like one of the colors for this year. I think yellow and gray are, um, two of the, the Pantone colors of the year, but, um, it is definitely hard to wear, especially because um, I do have some olive like neutral to olive undertones, and um, sometimes yellow is, is a little difficult to wear, but I'm enjoying it. I kind of want to do my toes in that, but I don't know. We'll have to see. I need, I need some more color, but um, last one is um, a little sinful polish, and this one is in Thimbleberry, and you can see I have some some differences there. I actually have this on my toes right now and um, I'm still pale for me at least like my lower half because um, you know I will wear like leggings and stuff out in the garden but a tank top and um, so I'm getting color up here on my shoulders and my arms and stuff but um, like my feet and my legs not so much. It, it just is. It is the way it is. I can't change that but this actually looks really good on, on pale skin with my skin tone. I am loving this on my toes right now. So that is everything that I have um, done, have used the past month. I have these two polishes right here that I have finished on the year. I'm not sure why I used so many pastel -y colors, but um, I've enjoyed them. And it's funny because those were two of my favorite colors, the Elf Lilac and um, Old Maid from the... P2 Volume Gloss. This is my color story right now. It is not the most amazing color story, but it's not half bad. I kind of wish I had an orange. Not going to lie. I wish I had an orange in here. And I may bring one in later in the year. If I'm, I'm still craving it next update, I might bring in an orange. But right now, this is where I am going to keep it. Um, I would like to see um, some more progress on some of them. I don't know that I will have any empties by next update, but I'm going to work hard on it. Um, maybe, maybe the little guy. I, I don't know. I, I'll just have to see what I'm feeling. Um, last time I did this, I was 
picking focus colors because um, I just wanted to knock them out. This year, I don't know, I'm just kind of like flitting around like a butterfly and um, I'm in the mood for this, I'm not in the mood for that. And so it's just kind of haphazard, which um, after last year, I'm just enjoying the freedom to be able to, you know, just make my own choices, do my own thing. So I, I'm, I'm not gonna pick a focus color and really set goals for next month. I'm just gonna see what I'm feeling and, and go for it, so. That is my kind of crazy update and um, you know, we'll just, we'll just see how the next month goes. I do want to try to use the three um, little polishes that, not little, but um, the three polishes that I didn't use in the past month. I have the purple and the red and then of course the glitter striper. I'm going to try and do some nail art with that or something and um, see if I can at least get some usage on it. I, I don't like to leave polishes unused, but you know, I just wasn't feeling them wasn't feeling them. All right, I am going to wrap this up. Let me know how you were doing with your polishes this year. I got to go make dinner for my, my family. So, you know, I got to get to getting. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.